We have a 26-year-old lady, so known with a history of rheumatic heart disease with severe mitral regurgitation at age of 19. So she had a mitral valve replacement in uh, 2012 with a 27 millimeter biocar valve uh, in view of her pregnancy and uh, she was married with two, ch with two children and uh, she's been having uh, uh, dyspnea on exertion the last one and a half years and now she's uh, again you know diagnosed with uh, severe uh, mitral stenosis prosthetic valve mitral stenosis Next slide. So, uh, so we were think options of considering the options of uh, she definitely was highly symptomatic. Whether it go for surgery, uh, uh, be, being a young lady, we also thought of surgery. And uh, the other option was since she had a tissue valve, uh, we, we and uh, you know that we were talking to the family and they probably want to have have one more pregnancy. And uh, at this age, uh, we wanted to, thought we should give an option of. Uh, 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 TMVR, and uh, if uh, uh, later on, uh, later on, if you want, she can go for a surgery in case uh, she has a problem later on. So, does she have children? So, uh, we did. Yeah, Cyber. She has. She kids. has. She has. So maybe the advice is not to have. Yes, kids. she has. Maybe, maybe the metallic valve could uh, be a good yeah. family <laughs> planning part of the family <laughs> planning program. Because I think if you put a bioprosthetic <laughs> valve yeah. in a 20 series, it's going to reach yeah. nose by next year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, not not so on. early, you think? Uh, I, I think uh, one of the chair people are saying you should, you should have a metallic valve and tu tubal ligation at the same time. Yes. Yeah, that's a good, good option <laughs> yeah, to, to the control. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we looked at the echo and uh, uh, Dr. Chandrasekhar, can we talk about, can, can you give Dr. Chandrasekhar the mic please, he's going to tell us about echo quickly. So, uh, can we have this, like, say, you, the, the, uh, it was a biocar, so the, and to a severe mitosomes, we looked at the app. I, meanwhile, I show the CT as he's putting on the mic for the echo. Uh, so this was the uh, Winnie's app. Uh, can you show, go back? So for this, you can see the stent internal uh, diameter was 25. And uh, the height is 17. But the so the recommendation is so sapient th 26. So yeah, so the true inner diameter of that valve is only 22. So now if you put a 26, yes. uh, yes, you'll exactly. you get a very low, small valve. So he's yeah. presenting as mitral stenosis or mitral regurgitation? Or both? Stenosis. Mitral stenosis. Mitral stenosis. So uh, what, mitral is, stenosis. what is the mean gradient? Uh, the mean gradient, just go to the previous slide. Yeah. 25. Mean is 25. So can the doctor, uh, yeah. so we will then, uh, he will tell you what uh, will be our next slide. Show the next slide. Yeah, it's Dr. Chandrasekhar online. Go ahead. Show the TE, please. Chandrasekhar, we can't hear you. We also can't even see you. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> they can't hear me. He's in the Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Very good. Listen, uh, the, uh, good morning to all of you. This is a uh, four chamber view, left atrium, left ventricle. This is a simultaneous biplane. Left atrium, left ventricle, this is the bioprosthetic valve. Already you can see the catheter is in. And here is the aortic valve. Here is the outflow tract here. It appears like as though there may be some narrowing of the outflow tract. So 
We looked at all of them. I'll show you what are the things. So next one is a, which try to take a gradient. As you can see here, there is a significant turbulence and there's not much MR. And the gradient is, this is a post ectopic bit gradient, which itself mean gradient of 13 millimeters. So, so that, uh, that indicates is a severe. Here is a 15 and 13 millimeters. Then here is a end on view of the 3D. Here is a valve, this is the atrial septum, the catheter crossing, and this is a balloon which is going to be dilating. This is a left atrial appendage. So, I'll, and then we also looked at the regurgitation after the balloon dilatation. And here you can see here, same end on view, LV, LA, and the valve, and there's a little bit of MR, and the turbulence, and this left atrial appendage is clear. So overall, this is a live picture, and you can see that the valve is heavily sinosed, and this is the on pause view of the valve, which clearly shows that after the balloon dilatation, there's a little bit of a cracking, and the leaflet, this leaflet is moving better. And we also measure the LV outro track gradient, which is essentially normal, about six millimeters of mercury. And LV, her LV function is pretty normal, about seven, 65 to 70 millimeters, 70 percent. So any questions? No, it's fine. I mean, I, I'm just surprised they did a balloon dilatation because we don't usually do a balloon dilatation in prosthetic stenosis uh, because it in, increases the chance yes, of stroke. Well, uh, big, uh, we would have just gone for the valve. No, the, 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 I, the reason, yeah, the only thing is a little calcium leaflets and the, if it has a mitral regurgitation, uh, we generally do that. So it was a mitral stenosis, we want to use a small balloon to dilate it. And in fact, uh, there is no significant AMR also after the dilatation. Let us show what we have done till now. Can you show the f first picture? So, so this is the septal puncture. So we, before that, we, we, got, we looked at a good view to have a nice projection to make the, uh, the uh, because biocar is not very visible fluoroscopically, we want to make sure we have a good angle to make it uh, in single plane, in the, the wires we see are in single plane. And uh, we, this puncture, we wanted to make it uh, posterior and inferior. So, so, so can you show the echo for okay. puncture? Echo, can you show the echo? So the puncture, okay, you have this to record it. Uh, hold it, hold it. So we had a good uh, sight, we were satisfied and uh, uh, so, the, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up right, right here. So. so yeah, you could see this, uh, yeah, what you showed now, just now. Yeah, so you can see this, uh, we were quite inferior and uh, we moved a little more posterior than this and we punctured. Uh, can you show fluoro now? And, and then we used a uh, agilis uh, sheath and that is actually very, very useful to flex it and get into, and uh, to cross it, it was uh, quite e simple uh, with the JR catheter and the J-tipped wire and then we, uh, exchange to a, uh, with a pigtail, uh, we put it in a confida wire. So move on to the confida wire, the pigtail and confida wire. And next uh, we uh, dilated the septum. So uh, the dilator, we dilated the valve and the septum. And uh, this was a 12 millimeter balloon. And you could see some waste. We made sure uh, the balloon, we, we actually moved the balloon up and down, uh, flossing to make sure we don't have any resistance or difficulty when we take the valve in. Next, please. So, next. 
So you could see that we, with the inflated balloon, we moved up and down. And uh, there was some waste in the, in the lower part, so again, we, we, we gave some more dilatation to make sure the waste was good. So uh, uh, now we have put in the E sheet now. Now we are ready to deploy the valve. Saibal, shall we proceed? Go ahead, please. So the only thing we don't yeah. we don't okay. dilate the valve. It would have been okay. It's usually going anti-create. It's not. A <coughs> it never okay. obstructs on the valve. Uh, but otherwise, it's fine. Okay. So we would. What what's that? You're using a 26 Sapien three or, or something else? Yeah, we're using a 26 Sapien three. 26 Sapien three. Okay, just show the wire. Okay, wire is okay. So I'm watching them cross. Then afterwards we'll follow that. So I need to bring the sheath back a little down so to so that so we'll see this the suture, right? We have to, we have sutured the sheet, so we'll have a little bit, take it out. Yeah, put it there. Cut it off. Okay, so I'm going to pull the sheet a little back. Hold the wire, please hold the wire. Can you push the wire a little bit? I'm bring, getting the whole assembly down. Yeah, pull it down. Okay, now let me get the valve out. Can you show down, Andrew, Fluro? So what he was doing, he was assembling, he's trying to out. assemble the valve. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Go a little more clean. Make it co co the, uh, coaxial. Make, make sure the, remove the parallax. Remove the parallax. Okay. Okay. Are we out? Yeah, fine. Now. Okay. Yeah. So we are pulling the, the balloon into the valve. Watch your configure wire. Your configure wire is coming back. Be careful of your configure wire. Wire is coming, coming back. back. Can you show the wall? Yeah, 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 the balloon has to come back. Right? Now you can pull it back. I, 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 yeah. Let's unlock it. I'll come this side. I'll come that side. Just hold it. Yeah, okay. You hold the wire. Okay. Yes. 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 Someone has to come out, right? Yeah, this one, this one, this one. That's good now. Yeah. Okay, fine. That looks looks good, looks good. The markers are good. We are fine. So now we will get this. Okay. Sure, come to the view. So while you're getting into position, is this a nominal volume of inflation in this 26? No, it's about uh, 2 ml added. Okay. Okay. 
Oke, okay, ayo guys, ready mutu. Flex it a little bit, please. Slightly, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, keep it down. Keep it. So the a, a, you, okay. Yeah, okay, we will get the, out. just loosen it. Yeah. Yeah, push it out. That's fine. That's fine. I think now. So we want to make sure we keep about uh, this uh, three millimeters in the atrial side, and uh, s uh, and 17 in the vent. Uh, so, so we know it four shortens from above. It's just a reverse uh, of what we have for Tava, for the uh, for. Just keep in mind, because okay. this is a 26 uh, inside yeah, a true ID of 22, it's not going to foreshorten as much as if this was in the aortic position, because okay. it's going to be restricted. So you want to factor that okay. into your positioning. Okay. Yeah, but also, you know, Rahul, you can't okay. go too low. Because so Rahul, how do you, the, what do you think of this position? Well, the thing is that remember two things. One is also yeah. the Maybe go a little small. more down. Yeah, you can't go too down, because mm. the, this, this value is very short. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of this position? Yeah, it's okay. Don't go it's any. Good. It's good. I, I wouldn't go any further down. Okay, yeah, do uh, yeah. Uh, I think it's already yeah, exactly. Straighten this way. What do you think? Maybe. I would pull it. I would pull it tiny. Coaxial. I can. I would pull it tiny bit back because it's easier to push it forward while in inflating, right? So yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. How, how does it look now? Yep. That's good. Don't come back anymore. Be careful. Yeah, this is good. So we will do a slope uh, pacing. And then you can always. Do you do cyber? Do you do pace during inflation? Yes, of course. Okay, you inflate. You say go, go pacing on. Very slow inflation. And give very slow inflation. Yeah, pacing. Yeah, extremely slow inflation. Yeah, go up. Okay. Yeah, pacing on. Yeah, go up slowly, Mutu. Push the push the valve. Push, push, push it in a bit. Push it in a bit. Push the valve. Yeah, yeah, I'm pushing. I'm okay, and now go up. Now, now in flight. Now go up fully. Don't push anymore. Just go up. Okay, good. Push. It's actually too high. Huh? That's okay. Actually, not bad. It's quite good. Good. And deflate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We stop pacing now. Good. You got a good okay, result. It out. It's actually a very good position. Yeah. 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 Great position. I think it's a good position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chan Shaker, can you show the echo? I'll, I'll show you. Can okay, pull the no, pull so the catheter back. Here just here can you show it to him, sir? Please. Pull the catheter yeah, back we'll from that. The we'll pull the catheter back. In the yeah, so that the valve starts. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 So now, now you see the simultaneous plane. You can see the end-on view from the atrium. This is from the LV outflow tract. Aortic root is right there. So I'm going to take off this simultaneous dual. So here is the valve. Here is the new valve. And you can see the leaflet nicely. And the catheter is still there. There's some. That's so the leaflets are moving very nicely. So here is the color here. Live color, there's no turbulent, no turbulent jet during the diastole, and there's trivial, tiny, tiny bit of washout MR. Now I'll show you, just hold on. And there's no parabolic leak. And here, no, you don't no. see anything around. No parabolic leak. And let's get a gradient. And here is the, here is the ventricular surface. 
I'm doing it right along, along with you. I haven't had a chance to look at the grade it yet. I'll look at it. And the, one of the most important thing is, is the LV outflow tract. There is no turbulence there. So it's beautiful. So I think we'll get the gradient now. You can also measure hemodynamically so the LVOT gradient and, and the where the pigtails are. Yeah. So you can, uh, what yeah. we would do is convert the yeah. pigtail, we, take out the wire, put a pigtail in. Yeah, we will do that. Yeah. Measure so look, uh, look, we, we will do that, that and uh, I, I think I, I, I think we, we have uh, uh, two more transmissions, so I need I think you will have to go on with the lectures and we'll quickly come so back with another Tava. And we have one more from Kaveri. So you, you please Here continue with your lecture we are, we are going and we'll come over back to the, other with the, the second case. We'll go over to the other Here center. is the mitral gradient. No you, no, you have to go and complete the lectures. No, but they will. And oh, then, then come we, back we'll, for the live so, case. Yeah, Thanks. Yeah. We'll figure it oh, out. They're okay. also ready. Okay. Okay. If they're ready, you can go ahead. Here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Just can you show us the gradient? Saibal. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's, show the echo. You see the gradient. How much is that? Three. Three. Okay, great. Muthu did, you, Muthu, did you three, empty yeah, the millimeter. Look at that. Muthu, did you empty the Aren't syringe, so? the whole did volume? Did the volume fully? Entirely, entirely. He, he complete, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has completely emptied the volume. We had three ml more. We had three so ml more and, and we completely emptied it. Awesome. Yeah, yeah that, you have a very nice shape. Look, look at the valve now. Shape. Well, you know, I personally think yeah. that maybe a 23, I don't know, because there's too much of a vertical coaptation leaflets, correct? And those are the ones which can get, yeah, yeah I tw think a 23 oversized may have been. The argument here for 23 could have been uh, made because especially the LVOT, so shorter frame, no, less chance, actually. but you ended up with a great result, so I think. Yeah. And you got a bigger EOL, yeah. last her until she needs a mechanical valve. <laughs> I, I, I them to see the, the uh, long-term okay. leaflets. The, see, the leaflets, because you know that if a 23 would have been yeah. touching each other. Yeah. But it's okay. Yes, it looks great. Uh, so here, look, look at. Uh, yeah, we were basically. we were suggesting that we could have used a 23 valve, but over dilated it, a 23 valve, just so that you wouldn't have such a long, redundant oh. leaflet. Okay. But that's fine. I mean, uh, with that, I think we well, thank you very much, and uh, we are ready to switch over to the next lab if they're ready. Thank if not, result. great result. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, and uh, our team. Uh, thank you very much for the entire team and uh, Dr. Arvinda and, and Dr. Muthu and everyone uh, who's great support. We have.